guys, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series haul video. Uh, I kind of want to, be, before we get the video started, I kind of want to apologize, apologize to you guys because I have been absent, I think, for about two weeks. I haven't posted a Black Series video, mainly because I've been holding on to uh, making this haul video for you guys because I wanted to do a really big one. So I've been piling up a bunch of figures that I've gotten over the past two weeks, I think, and... Uh, um, I thought, hey, why not just save those to make them into this massive haul video? And yeah, that's what I did. And uh, the only new video I posted was the reveals for the new Black Series figures, which I did leave the links to in the description. No, not the description. The comments. Yeah, I left that around there. In case you guys want to go back to that and uh, go to them. I know that Costco Reeves and uh, Tech sold out already because I think they were the popular ones out of the way. But um as for the other, they're still available on Amazon, I think. Um, don't hold me too accountable for that. But um, yeah, I, I really am glad to be back. I'll be bringing you guys more reviews, especially of the figures I'm going to be showing you today. And uh, without further ado, let's get this started. I think let's get started with the, I want to say the weakest uh, figures from the, from what I got recently. Uh, let's start with her. I recently got Padme Amidala. Um, I'm actually going to be using her for a custom to make the Revenge of the Sith Padme. I still am not quite sure how I'm going to do it, but uh, I, I I don't I don't know if they'll be doing one soon. I kind of doubt it. So I just wanted to make one so it can she can go good with uh, Archive Anakin. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get her for that, and uh, got her for a good price. I want to say fifteen bucks I think for her. And uh, she's not really that expensive. She's a pretty easy to get character. So, yeah, glad to have her. And, oh my god, the birds. But yeah, glad to have gone her. Uh, the next one is R5 uh, from the Target exclusive uh, trading outpost wave. Um, they have this packaging on the side that actually looks really nice. But the reason why I got this guy was because I, I'm gonna sound pretty stupid, but I thought this was R5, like the actual R5 from the movies, the from New Hope, The Mandalorian. I thought it was this R5. I thought, oh wow, what a cool way of getting him. But I was I like, looking closely. I'm like, wait, what? R5 doesn't have this type of paint, and uh, is that actually R5's name? And then when I read his description, I'm like, wait, R5 is with Hondo Onaka, and I'm like, is this even the R5 I want? And no. Apparently, there's two different types of R5. This R5 and the one we know and love. Why would they name this guy R5, though? It kind of brings up a lot of confusion. Um, they should have named it something else. I, I, I got confused as hell. And I got this guy without knowing it wasn't actually R5. So, uh, I, I mean, he was pretty... I got him for a really nice price, $10. Uh, he usually goes for 15 to 20 and uh, somewhere around there. But uh, still, I thought it was R5. Like, I, why did I get tricked like this by Hasbro? I Yeah, I wanted to get R5 for the Mando shelf, and now I have to still look for him. But in a good way, I'm glad this is not R5, because I was thinking of getting the Bandai model kit R2-D2 and R5, because those look really nice. And I hear their proportions are way more accurate than uh, Hasbro, so it'll be fun to build and make those guys and then have them as accurate as possible to what they should be in the shelf. So, uh, sort of a letdown, but not really. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this guy. I'm not sure if I should do a review either, considering that he doesn't come with any type of accessories. It's literally just an astromech body with a new paint job. So, don't know how I feel about that guy. Uh, who's the next one I should? Uh, let's go with since we're talking about astromech droids let's go with chopper uh, i got this guy for another good price on a facebook group he was selling them for 15 bucks and uh, chopper's actually been around i want to say 25 to 30 bucks to get uh not that expensive but uh for an astromech droid i mean he does come with a lot of accessories but um I've been wanting to get this guy mainly just because uh, he looks awesome. I'm not collecting the whole Rebels group because I'm not that too attached to uh, characters like Zeb or... Uh, I do like Hera and uh, I did get her but I mainly got her for a vet custom. 
Um, I did get Sabine, but again, it was mainly because she's a Mandalorian and I really liked her character. I have not gotten Ezra because I'm waiting to see how he's going to look like in the Ahsoka show. Because I'm pretty sure he is going to be in it. Um, so I'm waiting for that one. I'd rather have that version next to Mandalorian version of Ahsoka. And uh, I don't know about Kanan. I don't know if I will be getting him since, you know, he's already dead. Um, so obviously he's not going to be in a live action version, I assume. Unless they want to do a fourth version. But anyways... I got Chopper because he's really cool, he has a lot of details, he's a really nice little Ashramag droid, and uh, yeah, I really like this guy, I think I'm gonna do a review on this guy for you guys, uh, for sure, since he's part of uh, the Rebels crew, so glad to have gotten him, and for $15, pretty good of a steal, um, alright, let's go with the big one, I and I got... A Gamorrean guard. I actually got two of these guys, but I don't. I already opened up the second one just because I couldn't wait until this video. Um, I will be doing a review on this guy since he has been popping up in the GameStop, I think. And uh, a lot of people have been getting him. So, really happy to have gotten him. I, I'm... I, I getting I'm not gonna lie getting these guys makes me want to get Jabba just to you know Obviously if you're gonna have a Gamorrean guard you have to have Jabba so been wanting to get him But I also don't want to waste what like 150 bucks on him. So uh, he's really pricey. So um, I mean I'm mainly just gonna get these guys to recreate a certain scene that I'll probably show you guys once I make a certain character and I show him in the video so Many wanted to get these guys for that. Like I said, I have two of them, but I I couldn't hold, to get, I couldn't wait to open one, so I opened uh, one of them already, and I wanted to show you guys the other one in the box. Not gonna lie, I love these dudes, and uh, can't wait to do a review for that guy too, because he's been popping up a lot. So I think it's kind of worth doing a review on that guy. Not gonna do a review on her, I think. I don't think I will. I'm not sure. Uh, what's the next ones? All right, you know what? Let's go with these. Um, I got I recently the archive way has been popping up in Target and Walmart, and recently I think it was in Walmart's website. But I got these guys from the new archive wave. Uh, wow, I'm really talking a lot. Anyways, I really wanted to get mainly these two guys because I'm not really interested in those other troopers. I'm not that much of an army builder unless it's for characters that mean a lot to me, like the Death Watch and the Loyalist were. So I army build them, but I didn't. I'm not gonna army build these guys, especially because I already have a Death Watch and I think two is enough. I'm not gonna go crazy about it. I did want to get a second Tusken Raider, but again, I don't want to waste my budget. I mainly just wanted to get these guys to do a figure review for you guys. For <coughs> I need water for you guys, so um, that's why I got him. And I uh, need to do reviews on these guys since they are pretty new. Uh, not new and old, but, you know, they're new in terms of coming out. Um, plus, he'll look good in the Mandalorian shelf. And he's he that that is why this guy has been selling out more than the other three. Because he is in the Mandalorian um, show a lot. So, that's why he got a bunch of popularity. Also him, though. But not as much as this guy. So, again, wanted to get those guys specifically for that. He's going to be looking pretty good in the Mandalorian shelf. Again, kind of wanted to get two because they're mainly always, there's always mainly two when you see them in the show or movie. So, yeah, but I, I think I'm good with one. I don't want to waste too much of my budget again. Um, Next guy. Oh, oh, my God. I've been wanting to get this guy for the longest time. The Mandalorian Incinerator Trooper. Been wanting this guy for such, such a long time. I think ever since he came out. Um, but then after he, I couldn't get my hands on him, and then after he came out, he started going for around thirty bucks. He is around thirty bucks, like in places like eBay, Macari, um, I think Amazon. Um, you can't really get him for a lower price than that. But I managed to, I managed to get him for literally, I think retail, and uh, really happy about that because I've been wanting this this guy for a while. I also want to put him in the Mandalorian shelf or. Uh, next to vader i mean i'm not sure yet i need to figure that out but i i think i'm gonna do a review on this guy for you guys too because he's really cool he has that new uh stormtrooper mode and uh really excited about this guy so gonna be doing a review for him too 
how many figures do we got so far i think four five six seven seven figures like i'm telling you guys this guy this is the biggest haul i've ever done so yeah okay next figure i actually bought this guy with uh, the incinerator trooper from a guy on facebook but it was ig88 the first original blue line ig88 and this guy believe it or not he was only 22 dollars the guy was really trying to get rid of his all his collection and uh, yeah he is mint in box um i was gonna use him to i'm not making my custom but i mainly just wanted to get him because he has that really awesome gunmetal black type of color in compared to the newest or not the newest but the archive version of ig88 and uh, that's mean one one of the main reasons why i wanted to get him um but see having him in person i gotta say i kind of regret i i kind of don't i i don't know if i want to take this guy out of the box because let's be honest he looks really cool in the box um the box feels really smooth i've never held this guy um before i've seen him once in walgreens i guess one, a long long time ago but i didn't get him and i regretted it and uh, now that I have him again, I just, I don't know if I want to open him. It, it brings back some memories, not going to lie. But uh, I do want to have him outside of packaging. But then again, I don't know. So I'm not sure what to do with this guy. Let me know what you guys think. Is it worth keeping in box or is it worth just taking him out and posing him and uh, putting him in a custom shelf? I don't know. I, I wasn't going to make him into a custom, but I did want him to be a companion of a custom bounty hunter I'm doing. So yeah, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him though. So uh, yeah, um, next one. Well, I guess I might as well show these guys off since they are from the newest wave. I've been having trouble with these guys though. So I am gonna probably take a little bit of time explaining these guys. Actually, let me start off with, all right. Mace Windu. I finally got uh, the Phantom Menace card back wave, and the first one, one of the first ones I got was Mace Windu. Uh, this is not the first one I got though. I had ordered three Qui Gon, two Qui Gons, and one Mace Windu. Obviously, two Qui Gons, one to open, one to keep mitten box, and then I already had one Mace Windu out of box, so I just needed the one to have in mint condition. These guys took like a week after everyone was getting them for them to come to me. So I had to wait a while and I really wanted to showcase these guys off to you in the haul video. But the one that I got, the original Mace Windu that I had gotten, had like a big crease going from here all the way to here. It was bad. It looked so horrible. And I, I returned him. And then, then I ordered a single Mace Windu and uh, he surprisingly he didn't have any type of protection and he came mint like he was great beautiful and then i was happy about that but then i had the one of the qui-gons that i had ordered well i didn't care too much about one of them because i was going to open them anyways but the one of them was badly beaten and uh i was i returned him too and then i ordered another qui-gon just to um I ordered one Qui-Gon because I was expecting him to come just like Mace Windu, even if he didn't come any type of protection. Since it was just one, I didn't think he was going to come damaged or anything. But boy, was I wrong because he came super damaged, even more damaged than the first Qui-Gon I had. First Qui-Gon I had had like a bend like this, but it wasn't so severe. And boy, well, it was severe, but not as severe as this. This thing, like the whole package feels like it's coming out. And, uh, yeah, it's horrible, but I, I, and I, it was, yeah, I hate this because as many of you guys know, uh, if you've seen my other haul videos, you'd know that I got Darth Maul and Obi-Wan Kenobi specifically because I knew I was going to get this wave mint. I wanted to collect the whole Phantom Menace figures because they are really special to me. I grew up with the movie. Uh, it was the first movie I've seen. Darth Maul was the first character I saw. So to not have the... A nice collection of three carded black figures from the first characters I've ever saw. It, yeah, it sucks. I really want these guys. Uh, I don't usually collect in box, but when I do, it's mainly for special figures, and these guys are special to me. So it sucks not having uh, Qui Gon in good condition. I ordered another one, and I'm going to be returning this one back to Best Buy. I haven't done anything to him, so he should be fine. Uh, I ordered another Qui Gon. 
Uh, he was supposed to come yesterday, but he didn't. I guess he got delayed. I don't know. I think he might come either today or Monday. I'm not quite sure if they delivered on the weekends, though. So probably Monday. Um, and when I do get that one, I'll be putting him in the a safe box, just like I did with the other two. And then putting him in the uh, Hall of Fame with Darth Maul and Obi-Wan. So... I, yeah, it mainly sucks not having these completed, but I'm glad to have had Miss Windu and in great, great condition, to be honest. He didn't have anything wrong with him. It's just Qui-Gon right now, the one I'm struggling with. But speaking of the Phantom Menace wave, I also, also got... When I went to go return Mace Windu at the Best Buy store and also the other broken Qui-Gon, I stumbled upon a character I did not think I was going to get. Well, not so soon. But I got the battle droid, and he's in perfect condition as well. There's nothing, well, he has a little mark right there, but it's a battle droid. I'm not going to get too uh, uh, horribly upset over that. It doesn't really bother me that much. And he's in great condition. It's a battle droid. <laughs> I keep saying that, but um, the running joke that me and my younger brother have is that we have a little dog. His name is Chico. And uh, uh, what's it called? We, we nicknamed him a battle droid. So whenever we see our dog, we always think of a battle droid. And whenever we see a battle droid, we think of a dog, or of our dog. And we just have to get him, man, in great, great condition. Because I, we do have battle droids, but now uh, having him in this car back again to complete the whole wave and it being a battle droid that reminds us of our dog for some reason. I don't know. It's, 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 it's a funny inside joke we have, and I'm really happy to have him. Believe it or not, I'm really excited about this guy. Really excited to have him in the collection, too. But yeah, when I had returned him, I, I found him. He was the only one. I mean, there was another battle droid, but he was more beat up than this one. This one was in great condition, so that's why I got him. But yeah, re again, really excited to have gotten um, uh, that battle droid there. Really happy about him. I don't know why. And the next one that I got, I actually purchased him in same day delivery. And he came in, and surprisingly, he came in a bubble wrap type of envelope and he did not come damaged at all and it is the phantom menace charge our beings um yeah this guy didn't come damaged at all there's nothing wrong with him so again it begs the question why are all of these guys coming in great shape and i'm struggling with qui-gon why is qui-gon the only one i'm struggling with i don't know um but i did get jar jar and uh great condition and now i have the cold completed wave well, still waiting on perfect condition Qui-Gon, but um, hopefully he does come in that condition. If not, then I'm going to have to resort to eBay and then return both Qui-Gons that I've already ordered and uh, just get it from eBay. Because at least eBay, there will be some sellers who will actually package them well. But again, you have to go through the reviews and description and make sure the seller is actually legit and uh, packages everything well. So I'll have to go through that process just to get a good, good enough Qui-Gon with the others because how am I going to have all of the others in great condition and then quite on one of the main characters is in bad shape so again it bugs me but I probably will get that result soon happy about Jar Jar though gonna be bringing reviews of all of these guys but I will not be opening them up I don't know if that makes sense but uh again these guys are repacks of characters that we've already had um, I already have Mace Windu. He is the exact same figure as the previous Mace Windu. There is no type of difference or change. I've seen it myself already. There's nothing different. Exact same figure. Uh, Battle Droid, exact same figure. Charger, exact same figure as the Deluxe. Which brings me to my next thing. I got a Charger Deluxe uh, set just to review him. Uh, just to review this guy together because I'm not going to be taking this guy out of the packaging but I want to show you guys the figure in case you do want to see it um, but I got him for the deal the clearance they've been having in Target if you guys see him for eight bucks get him this guy is definitely worth it he is a great figure I already have one but I wanted to get another one just because I'm making one of them into Darth Jar Jar and I want to have the regular Jar Jar because he is awesome if you guys have seen him or you guys see him in the store for 18 or for 8 I mean or 10 or 15 bucks something like that get him he is worth it um the clearance uh makes you want to get two just to make one Darth Charger because that is an 
awesome meme. So again, if you see him, I recommend getting him. He is worth it and you will not be disappointed. Um, I mainly just got another one just to review uh, the Phantom Menace Jar Jar Chicas. They, they are the exact same figure. There's nothing different. But I also want to show you guys the package pretty good in a review video. So that's why I got him. Um, luckily, my brother was able to... My brother and uh, my... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Sister-in-law were able to pick this guy up for me when they went Target shopping. So really grateful to them. Shout out to them for doing that for me. They're always supporting me with this. So yeah. Uh, like I said, I had gotten two Qui-Gon's. I already opened one up just because I couldn't wait. But I will be reviewing him. And he is the only one out of the whole wave that I got two of. Just because of that updated face and also because I missed out on the first Qui-Gon. So I had to have one loose. And uh, yeah. So um, yeah, those, that's it for those. But I am not done. Like I said, guys, this is a massive haul. And the, to end this massive haul, I got the big guns. I got the Mandalorian Amazon exclusive <coughs> speeder bike, scout trooper, and the child figure. Uh, wow, what a beauty. Almost makes me not want to take him out of the packaging, but I will because it's damaged anyways. But I don't mind. I got him for a really good price again on eBay. Why am I always getting finding good prices for the things I want? Exactly when I want them, and I end up finding the good deals. I don't, I don't know how that happens, but it does. I got him for a really good deal on eBay, and uh, yeah, I am happy about this guy. Um, I mean, you wanted to get this guy for the speeder bike because I am gonna be making that into a custom speeder bike for my bounty hunter. Uh, custom guy and I'm gonna be selling the scout trooper and keeping the child because that's really cool um, But I also want to get this to do a review for you guys gonna do the review first then customize the bike then sell the scout trooper because uh, I really um, Believe it or not. I'm not really that into the scout troopers. They're cool and everything But I mainly just have one scout trooper Which is the gaming greats one because he came with that baton and I thought he was pretty cool my girlfriend actually got me that one and uh, Really like that guy. He's uh, emotionally great so that's why I get, kept him but um, for this guy I really don't dig the dirtiness and uh, regardless I don't have a place for him in the shelf so I'm not I'm gonna be sending him on eBay I think or to one of the guys in discord not sure yet but I did want to do that so I do want I am gonna be doing a review for this guy though since he is pretty cool and he comes with a somewhat new accessories in terms of the speeder bike so can't wait for this guy like I said, massive, massive haul. In total, I think it was one, two, three, four, wait, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Was it 13? One, four, four. Uh, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 figures in total. This is the biggest haul I've ever had, and it's all from, uh, I want to say, two weeks that I've been trying to gather figures. Well, the ones I needed and the ones I wanted to review for guys, and uh, hopefully I, I do do the reviews on uh, those guys soon. I think those are probably going to be the ones that go up first. This one, too. Really eager to get that guy out already, so... Um, Stay tuned for those guys, those videos, guys. I think this video has already been long enough, so I'm not going to delay it anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next review. And uh, 